All right, hey guys, if you're new, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. if you're new, welcome. If you're back, welcome back. This week we are going to be talking about my workout split. Um, this honestly isn't how I wanted to do this video. I kind of wanted to almost vlog what I was doing and talk you through before I worked out each day what I was planning on doing. But um, last week was not a typical workout week for me. Um, I ended up working out Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I went to the gym Friday, but I got a stomach bug during my workout, so I left early. And then I was out for about four days. So... I'm just now feeling better so instead of doing that vlog style video I'm just going to sit down and talk to you about what I'm doing because it is going to be the same information just instead of it being clips every day it's going to be me just talking to you so basically starting out with Sunday Sunday is my scheduled rest day so what that means is I don't do any physical activity that is me just hanging out, spending time with my family, resting for the upcoming week. Usually, usually I do meal prep. So it's basically just me resting and getting ready for the next week. Like I've told you before, rest days are very important. You have a day off from work typically. Why wouldn't you give your body a day off from working and pushing itself? Um, the other thing is that I usually, like, yesterday I was wanting to go to the gym, but I still wasn't feeling good, so I didn't go. And that is for you to kind of know your limitations. So, my stuff is slipping. But, um, know your limitations. If it's not the same rest day every week, and you want to kind of change it based on your work schedule or whatever, do it. Sundays are just what works best for me. Um, moving into Mondays, I have leg day, my first leg day of the week. Um, usually, I'm going to talk you through each of the days, but my training has been different lately. It's still been hypertrophy focused, but I also want to build strength in my compound movements. So I will do a heavy compound movement, usually anywhere from six to eight reps, lower sets, and then I'll move into hypertrophy training. So for Mondays, my leg days, that leg day is squats. So I'll do about three sets of four reps of heavy squats and then I'll move over into my hypertrophy training and that will be my high rep, high, lower weight, high number of sets. Um, I don't really have time to fit cardio into my schedule on Mondays so I don't really do anything. I walk for about 10 minutes before my workout and that is about all the cardio that I do on Mondays. Tuesday is shoulders for me. Um, Legs and shoulders are my favorite muscle groups to train, so I will typically do Monday, Tuesday, Monday legs, Tuesday shoulders. So same thing, same structure as with the leg day. My compound lift is a overhead shoulder press. So if you see my last shoulder day video, it's structured the exact same way. I do low rep, high low rep, high weight, low number of sets for overhead shoulder presses, and then I move over into hypertrophy. I also usually do abs, and then I will fit cardio into my shoulder day somehow, whether it be a circuit or sprints or low intensity steady state cardio, which is just um, walking or incline walking. Anything that is something that you can do for a prolonged period of time. Your heart rate is up, but it's not like up, up like it would be with sprints. So that is what I do on Tuesdays. Wednesdays is chest, triceps, and abs. 
So the same structure, compound lift is bench press. So it's something that's going to mainly focus on my chest and my triceps. And I guess you could also say that tricep dips would be my second compound lift because it does work more muscle groups and I am trying to both strengthen it. So Wednesdays I do bench and tricep dips and then I move over into hypertrophy training which is mostly tricep work. So I mainly do all of my chest work doing bench presses. Sometimes I'll throw in a superset depending on how I'm feeling but usually it is all tricep work. And then I will also fit abs in because on most of my lower most of my upper body days I will do abs and then I do cardio whatever I didn't do Tuesday I will do on Wednesday so if I did sprints on Tuesday I'll probably do either circuit or steady state on Wednesday and then on Thursday I have a second leg day so my compound lift for Thursdays is a deadlift I also do a lot more gluten hamstring work if I'm doing any quad isolated movements it will be typically on Mondays when I'm doing squats but I do most of my hamstring and glute work on Thursdays and as you guys know I do a lot of hamstring and glute work just to get everything balanced out and so Mondays are usually mostly hamstring and glutes as well with some quad isolation. Friday, oh, Thursday I also don't do any cardio, so I don't have time, a whole lot of time, so the only cardio that I do again is during my warm up. Um, Friday, back and biceps and abs. Usually my compound lift is pull ups, and then I will alternate between rows and lat pull downs for my second compound lift. I usually do high rep variations of rows and lat pull downs for the hypertrophy training afterwards, but for my heavy compound lifts, I usually alternate between those two. I also have been trying out rack pulls for my lower back, and it's basically setting up for a deadlift. But instead of starting from the ground, you almost have to be on like a squat rack for this. So you would put your bars out so that the bar stops at knee height. And then you basically do half of a deadlift. And you use your back to lift it without causing injury to your back. It's something that I would be willing to show you at some point. But it is kind of tricky to get the right contact. So... That's something that I'll show you, but it is something that I'm trying, so I thought I would mention. And then I do abs, just a little bit of abs. As you guys know, I don't do a whole lot of abs. The, I don't have a whole um, day dedicated to abs. I just kind of throw them in at the end of upper body days, a superset, a triset, a circuit, something just to get good contact and get ab work in. And then I do cardio after abs. So... Like I said before, it's usually whatever I didn't do Tuesday or Wednesday. Or it's something that I did do and I feel like doing again. So say I did sprints Tuesday, low intensity steady state Wednesday. Usually I either do a circuit or more sprints on Friday. And then Saturday is the last work day for me working out wise. And it is kind of a toss-up between legs and full body. And the reason that I say that is because if I'm sore from Thursday's leg day, I will listen to my body and do a whole body workout. It still works legs, I, I know that, but it doesn't work them as much as I would if I were to have a full-on leg day. I'm kind of just working everything, being in the gym, being active, but not specifically focusing on one body part and fatiguing it to the point that I could be injured because I'm working it too hard. So I do that. I usually walk for about 
a mile and then I'm done so that's what I do now I understand that that's kind of overwhelming especially to a beginner um, or someone who can't go to the gym six days a week what I did when I first started out was I actually alternated between upper body and lower body days because um, I couldn't guarantee how many days I could be at the gym and I also didn't really know a whole lot of exercises so basically what I would do was do Monday, Wednesday, Friday of the first week I would do lower body, Tuesday, Thursday I would do upper body and then the next week I would kind of do Monday, Wednesday, Friday would be upper body and then Tuesday, Thursday would be lower body and then I would do cardio every other day. So I would do so basically when I would do my upper body days I would do a superset for chest, a superset for shoulders, a superset for arms and then I would usually do abs and then for leg day I would do a bunch of leg exercises. It would be I would try to keep it balanced between my hamstrings and my glutes and then and my quads like I would try to keep everything balanced and that would be my workout and then the next day would be upper body day again and I would do a superset of each muscle group and then abs and then the next day would be legs and you get the picture but um basically that's what I did so I hope that this is helpful for you I hope that this is helpful for you if you are new to doing this or if you kind of want to switch up your workout schedule, anything like that. As usual, you guys know how to reach me. You can reach me on here. You can reach me through social media. I am on Instagram and I will have that down below as well if you want to check that out. It does have more fitness stuff on it than... I can post on here just because it's something that is easily accessible to myself. I can just do it straight from my phone instead of recording whole videos. Um, people who know me personally, Facebook is something you can text me questions. Anything, don't hesitate to reach out. I usually do get back to you when you do. I do appreciate all of your support with my channel and my social media and all of that stuff so thank you guys so much as usual and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel i will see you guys next time